And though at six, we all use the internet in some way, shape or form. Students at Norfolk State University want to transform the future of online use. Eugene Daniel brings us a one of a kind program that takes a deeper look at the World Wide Web and the people in front of and behind the scenes. Behind every search engine, social media post and web click are people who make the internet what it is. Whether writing the code or scrolling your favorite app, the number of online interactions per day is endless. Just about everyone in the world interacts with technology whether they like it or not. Dr. Scott Deb and students at Norfolk State University are studying the ways technology impacts society through what's called cyber psychology. Human behavior and technology. That's cyber psychology. It's the first master's degree program of its kind in the country. Because technology touches virtually everything, so does their research. From its impact on healthcare and education, to the need for cybersecurity, to even how social media impacts our mood. I would be um, actually amongst the first to graduate from the program. The online program launched in 2020 at the height of the pandemic with 12 students. Now it's grown to nearly 50 students, including Samita Harris. And I think it's so important because with Today's technology and the way, you know, cyber deviance is and how much we use social media. But what makes the program even more special, Deb says, is that it's housed here in a historically black college and university and emphasizes diversity and inclusion, especially in the world of programming. We're being given cultivated lists um, and those lists are not necessarily maliciously put together but inadvertently it winds up being discriminatory in many cases. Take algorithms, for example. They're supposed to make your online experience easier by organizing your content, but there could be issues not easily seen on screen. The algorithm isn't biased, but the person programming the algorithm might have their biases that they inadvertently um, put into their programming. Deb references published research that found negative biases against women of color are embedded in search engine results and algorithms, saying that's just one example. As the internet evolves and our dependence on it grows, he says it'll be important to have people in the room to spot these issues. And he believes the study of cyber psychology gives people the chance to do that. The students that come out of this program have this opportunity to be that voice. In Norfolk, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. The program was in part made possible by a five-year, $5 million grant to Norfolk State University. Dr. Deb hopes cyber psychology becomes a more common practice across the country in the next five to 10 years.